Uh, I'm going to take the plus two momentum. Okay. As Dirk, along with Tessa. My marker! Your marker! My marker went so far oh, away. How are you feeling about this? Ready to fight a big bad. This is, I just feel. Or, or reason with the big bad. Uh-huh. Make a deal with the big bad. Yeah. Become big bads ourselves. Yeah. Who knows what's in store? This is wild. <laughs> I can't believe we've come to this point. I can't believe we've come to our last episode. Yep. I can't believe mm -hmm. we're going to do something potentially world saving. Yeah. Wow. I can believe that. I mean, look at us. I mean, look at us, but also. Mm -hmm. I dress up. I lace my shoes up with the expectation that I'm going to do something world saving. I am a little concerned that last episode we scored two strong hits with a match in a row. It just uh, the more the merrier. I'm just, just a little. Means... <laughs> I'm a little worried. It just it concerns me a little. This has a mechanic in this game called what momentum, <laughs> and it seems like momentum is with us. I haven't gained momentum in episodes, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm still at five. <laughs> we left off with our merry gang as they were tracking down the exact hideout of these zealots that we now know is called the order yes um we had the party split up tessa and win um needed to disguise themselves as zealots themselves in mm -hmm. order to make this fanciful plot work mm -hmm. um they go they find two zealots who were kind of roughing up one of the uh dudes in charge of the mine they make quick disposal of both of them mm -hmm. um Interestingly, though, the mine worker, when we were trying to reason with him and tell him to calm down and help us hide the bodies, he just took off. Nah. Not great. Um, but they successfully got their costumes and they went, they headed north to the meeting point, which is where these carts were embarking. Meanwhile, Pim and Dirk went deeper into the mine to procure a box, a case, a shipping container mm -hmm. with which they could stow away inside. Mm hmm and get loaded on mm -hmm. to then meet re-meet back up. Mm -hmm. After some uh, careful uh, distraction creation, yeah. Pim was able to sneak into the box. Mm -hmm. Dirk pushed her out, uh, yeah. dis still disguised as a worker, uh -huh. and the four of them rendezvoused yes. at the shipping depot. Yes, um, so as planned, Pim and Dirk um, inside this cargo box were loaded onto a buckboard. Um, attached to two horses tessa and win were driving the horses disguised as zealots and the four of them they are cart eight out of a train of nine mm -hmm. and they follow them for about an hour and a half into the night mm -hmm. on a really steep mountain pass where they then eventually are um, entering into the order which is kind of like the main operations of this cult they go inside uh, they take a right um, as they, you know, enter in and see just a beautiful, ornate, um, very kind of spooky antechamber. They go to the right and they go <coughs> into a tunnel mm -hmm. where uh, the cart that Dirk and Pim are in are offloaded yep. and sent into a chasm. Yep. They are just sent off ah. on a little roller coaster ride. Yeah. Tessa and Wynn have no choice but to sort of blend in and figure out what they're going to do next. Mm -hmm. um, back on Dirk and Pim, they find themselves now in a room where uh, these carts are unloaded, um, a knock at the door, and who is it but as the result of our second strong hit with a miss in a row, Sorry, strong hit with a match in mm -hmm, a row. Mm -hmm. It is Tessa and Wynn at the door. The party is reunited, the four of them. They continue to investigate where this Starforged Black Iron is headed. They come across a huge factory slash laboratory floor uh -huh. where the iron is being smelted. It's spewing iron blight all over the place. Mm -hmm. Pim recognizes this same factory floor and realizes that a doorway that they head toward must have whoever is responsible. As they pass through, mm -hmm. they also notice 
the hulking humanoid forms of machinations of automatons being constructed mm -hmm. but not quite given the fire of life yet yeah they say hundreds of them in fact <clears throat> Um, just waiting dormant. Mm -hmm. uh, they make their way because now at this point, we forgot to mention, all four of them are dressed as zealots. Mm -hmm. um, they were, Pim and Dirk were able to also get uh, zealot costumes. Yes. Um, we're looking fetching. We're looking great. Uh, all four of them make their way down and they are now at the door mm -hmm. where that Pim recognizes may be um, the place where the person responsible for incorrectly smithing this Starforged Black Iron is conducting mm -hmm. their experiments. And we rejoin the group there. Oh, God. Okay. Here it is. Okay, this is the door. How do we get inside without anyone noticing? Um, well, we could be bringing some... We could be bringing some in. Right? Uh, in through the door. We can do that, right? At this point, we're here. Yeah. I don't know. We just go inside and see whatever's on the other side of this, yeah? Is the door locked? Okay. Low is no. It's not locked. Okay. It is locked. 53 <laughs> is high. Shoot, it's locked. The uh, door is locked. Give me some cover. Okay. Wynn sets to work on picking the opening mm -hmm. to that closed door, mm -hmm. being the master thief that he is. Uh -huh. uh, Tessa, Dirk, and Pim begin to then, Dirk and Tessa make just kind of like a body shield, trying uh -huh. to pretend that they are stationed zealots, just maybe like guarding the doorway, yeah. while Wynn is crouched underneath them. What does Pim do in this moment? Suddenly we see a red hooded figure approach. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what are you all doing standing here during op operations? Brother, sire, <laughs> thine have requested information of us, which I would be happy to... Meanwhile, just like, Wynn is almost there. I would be most... With most haste would be the pleasure of mine to bestow upon thine, brother. Uh, we were told to stand guard because the master inside wishes not to be disturbed. Yeah, he... They're like, very busy. Needs some extra time to himself, so... What do we do on that? We got to compel. <laughs> we have to. This is a head honcho in red Oops. robes. Oops. a daisy. And <laughs> I don't aren't... even know if that's the vocabulary they These use. aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> this is a liar swindle plus shadow. Yeah, that's lying. I'm s Unless. Yeah, right? I got this. All right. Oh no! That's a that's a that's a, that's a hard miss. That's a hard hard that's miss. That's a hard miss. I think you're imposters. We don't speak that way. Here's what I think about that, though. And Dirk uh, immediately uh, bear hugs and tries to uh, grab this guy and Guard! shut him up. Guards! I'm gonna. And we are in <laughs> clear view of am... all of these zealots. Do, do so. I failed at grabbing him go ahead i okay. mean you can try to grab him but i don't know if we're are we i think we're in view okay what do you think please just do your role uh i wanted to quickly well that's how it's interpreted he, <sighs> he got the screams off he screamed for guards yeah he screamed for guards i'm gonna try and just squeeze him and subdue him really quick all right all right yep go ahead okay we hit or is that a that's a weak. Okay. Yeah, weak hit. So Dirk is able to just grab him and the guards are like, Gah! but it's a little bit too late. Yeah, all of a sudden. As Dirk uh, puts him in a headlock choke and yeah. begins to knock the head honcho unconscious, uh, we start to hear commotion on the factory floor. Yeah, suddenly zealots are immediately turning very quickly with a very unnatural kind of snap of the head, mm -hmm. seeing that there's commotion and that there is a red-robed, priest yep being 
killed essentially yep. by by these other hooded figures. Um, they start to alert one another. They take their they take their um, their 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 smelting tools, mm-hmm. their smithing tools, and they start advancing toward us. At this point, we hear. And nice. the wind has unlocked the door. Uh-huh. Uh, as we have how many zealots uh, approaching on our... Ten? Yeah. I mean, how many on the floor? Twenty? <laughs> oh, Twenty on the floor? What do we do? All right. Pim, Pim has an idea. So okay. All of a sudden, the door... This is all happening in real time. Mm-hmm. Simultaneously, as Win clicks mm-hmm. open the lock yep. and is opening the door mm-hmm. as Tessa is following him as Dirk is finally putting the finishing touches on the priest yeah. and dropping him yep. in slow motion Pim takes the Starforged Black Iron mm-hmm. out of her pouch mm-hmm. she takes her flint machine yeah. she lights it Ooh. and all of a sudden by opening her hands the Black Iron is floating Oh. She her concentration steals yeah. on the black iron as mm-hmm. it's floating between her two palms. We see her fiery red hair begin to sort of start to stand on end as though what happens when you have static electricity. <laughs> her hair begins to like stretch out and lift up. Yes. And she takes this and suddenly the 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 metal is changing. It's turning from a solid state to a liquid state Whoa. to a gas gaseous 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 Gashish. Gashish state. Easy for you to say. (laughs) And she then looks toward all of the dormant automatons. Mm -hmm. All of the dormant anthropomorphic headless automatons. Mm -hmm. And she sends this gaseous uh, metal Mm -hmm. toward one of them. Yep. Suddenly, uh, it writes itself. There begins to be a hum. Like a, just a dissonant... Mm -hmm. And the central torso core of mm-hmm. this machination starts to glow. Mm-hmm. It stands up. She does the same for another and another and mm-hmm. another. Mm-hmm. Five total. Mm-hmm. She animates in this same way mm-hmm. as these zealots are nearly upon her. We need a game plan! Suddenly, the five automatons right themselves mm-hmm. and let out a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this massive, ear-shattering kind of roar. Yeah. Um, a very of metallic timbre that mm-hmm. splits the ears of both the zealots and our four party members. Uh, and suddenly the zealots stop in their tracks, turn and see five hulking automatons yeah. upon them. Uh-huh. They turn their focus to those automatons as the automatons begin fighting them. B- before Wynne can step back from the closed door, as the red hooded figure drops to the ground unconscious, the automatons begin to come to life and just lay into the zealots yeah. on the side. Boom! And the door explodes open, splinters sent everywhere. The th- uh, Pim, Dirk, Tessa, and Wynn are sent flying onto the flak- flak- factory floor. Uh huh. Um, the door was sent flinging across and what begins to climb out of the room jaws first is a huge uh mechanical automated uh worm a wingless serpentine looking dragon the size of a they don't know but a bus Uh uh-huh just chomps through the door and flies out and spills into the room and begin staring at everyone. Suddenly we see <laughs> c- emerging from the dust that has, you know, been obviously kicked up as this worm is emerging, mm-hmm. we see a figure. We see a, a, a human figure next to it mm-hmm. who Pim recognizes. And she says, Cormac, Cormac, is that you? It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. You figured, you figured it out. You brought them to life. And uh, Tessa goes, um, any chance you might fill us in here? Because, uh, <laughs> and she points up to the worm, who is now slowly training its eyes on the four of them, lurching back. You completed, you completed the synthesis. I always had an inkling that you would be the, you would be able to figure it out, and you've, You've come back at the, the perfect time. 
Look at the life you've put into them. Look at all we can do. This is incredible. He's Cormac. He's my collaborator. He's the other person who they kidnapped in order to make this happen. That it is seems. why you've come back, isn't it? No, Cormac. Look at this miracle you've wrought. We could do so much with it. And what is this, Cormac? What is this? Can you tell this to stand down? This is what you would call my prototype. I could never match you in raw skill and innate talent, but putting in enough time, I got to get a bit of the rough bits working, and you know, it tends to have a mind of its own from time to time, but... Cormac, they want to ruin the world. They want to take what you did to that worm, or that, I guess, robot worm, and do that to all of those automatons. Do you realize that they're going to destroy the world with it? What? Destroy the... Destroy the world, this... No, you're so... You're so wrong. You've been out there in the Irelands too much. There's a plan... There's a vision, I've seen it. I've seen it, it's so beautiful if you just, if you just let us in. And then suddenly, the worm decides to make. It, it, it is finished retreating. Yeah. And heedless of its master, mm -hmm. decides to go forth. Oh boy. So, uh, okay. <clears throat> I think, I think this is, Extreme? Yep. All right. This is an extreme mechanical worm. Yep. The size of a bus mm -hmm. coming toward us. W-Y-R-M. W-Y-R-M. Like a serpentine dragon with no okay. wings. Yes. And we, the zealots are, are busy fighting the robots behind yep. us. So we're not dealing with them. Yep. Okay. All right. Crap. All right. It's, it's the four of us. Um, Dirk would like to enter the fray. Okay. Uh, seeing this giant oh, thing boy. running at us. Okay. Uh, where's my combat? Okay. Uh, he's just going to get in there. All right. Seeing if he can leverage anything. You know, no. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, he is going to, seeing that he has crafty people around him, mm -hmm. he and Tessa exchange a glance and begin to charge forward, okay. uh, seeing, uh, tr hoping to free up some time. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You hear him shout, Pim, do your thing! Not terrific, but okay, that's a weak hit. Okay. Um, so Dirk uh, is going to, where am I at with my momentum? Uh, on a weak hit, You can't I, cancel the nine. If can I you? take no, if I take plus two momentum, I'm at plus nine. Uh huh. But I give up initiative. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to take the plus two momentum. Okay. As Dirk, along with Tessa, my marker. Your marker. My marker went so far away. away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm up Keep to plus. You, I wanted to get up to plus nine momentum, so that leaves me, if things right. get bad, bad, I can cancel out some good stuff. All right. He stands with Tessa, uh -huh. now spears fully drawn. It's not mm -hmm. a water pail anymore. Yeah. It's looking straight up at this thing, just squaring off with it. Okay. Doesn't make an initial strike, but here he is, ready to react to whatever happens. Okay. Meanwhile, while he charged in, mm -hmm. the figure that was talking, this collaborator, mm -hmm. has slunk back out of sight into okay. the dust. And now everything taking up this huge room is this giant beast, and we don't see where the collaborator oh, went. Oh, crap. Okay, great. So Pim is going to mm. enter the fray as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do it. Um, From a distance? I, From I, a distance. I would say, I would say we're am Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. You got uh, wits, shadow, or heart. Moving into position. I'm going to do facing shadow. Facing off. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to move into position with my bow. Yeah. Um, Pim is planning out her attack with Wynn at her side. Mm -hmm. In the back, there is 
zealots climbing on top of machines, <sighs> trying to figure out how to. It looks like the counselors are playing with the campers, uh -huh. uh, and it's roughhousing time. Yeah. There is chaos everywhere. Zealots are grabbing tools. They're banging on these machines. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, machines are striking and hitting two zealots at a time, flinging them against the walls. It is a bedlam inside this factory. Amazing. All right, great. Uh, great, 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 great. I think I'm going to just do it. I'm going to move into position. There's no time. Yeah. Um, so here we go. Can you let any assets you could have leveraged? No. Uh, but that's a miss. That's okay. a fat miss on combat begins with you at a disadvantage. Uh, pay the price. Your foe has initiative. All right. So I, as she's backing up, mm -hmm. as she's cocking an arrow, backing up, mm -hmm. trying to move into, into position, um, she is knocked... She's knocked in the head by um, the beam of one of the zealots, a dark magic beam mm -hmm. um, that knocks her off of her, on her feet and her, obviously her b bow and her arrow mm -hmm. uh, goes on the ground. Oh. Um, and the foe has initiative, so I can't do anything. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, Dirk and Tessa in front of the giant's uh, worm are going to clash with it. Wait, there, are we giving them moves? No. Oh. They're just narratively next to me. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm not treating her as like her own Got it. figure with stats and moves right gotcha, now. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Uh, so we're clashing. The worm uh, rears back and you hear the whirring and the humming uh -huh. of its mechanical uh, pieces moving around as it lunges its jaws forward. Uh-huh at Tessa and Dirk, mm -hmm. who with their spears drawn at the same time, yeah. look for anything vital or important on this thing and just straight clash with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, okay, fighting in close quarters. This is iron. Here we go. Come on, guys. Okay, so that ends up being a five versus a seven and a two. Um... And I'm going to just take that. Uh, those is a clash. Uh huh. Inflict your harm, but then pay the price. Your foe has initiative. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, but, 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 but. Got it. Uh, so they stab forward, looking for anything vital. Uh -huh. The jaws come forward. Uh -huh. Luckily, they sidestep out of the way. The worm. Cl crashes its jaws down. They thrust with their spears uh -huh. and inflict uh, damage on this thing. Mm -hmm. So that's one full box uh -huh. versus this extreme foe. One, one two, out of ten. three, four. Mm -hmm. It gets stabbed. Uh -huh. And as they lunge into it, uh, the mechanical gears grab Tessa's spear. Uh -huh. And as it moves out of the way and pulls back, her weapon is ripped out of her <gasps> hands. Oh no! Uh, so her spear got lodged in the thing. Yeah. Kind of crunched into some gears. Crap. Dirk found purchase on some important looking. Yeah. Innards. Innards. Yeah. Uh, and then now the worm continues to move forward, and okay. he's just chomping around. All right. Okay. Uh, Tessa's without a spear at this point. Yes. All right. So Pim is going to clash um, with Edge. So that's plus four. So mm -hmm. here we go. Let's do it with her bow. Oh, no, boy. That's a, that's a miss on plus four. And I can't cancel those. Shoot. Golly. You're outmatched and you must pay the price. Okay. So, I mean, do we... I'm going to roll. I'm going to keep rolling on the pay the price table, I think, mm -hmm. because... Mm -hmm. It's a big baddie. It's a, it's big, a baddie, big baddie. And, like, just enduring harm could be, like, so fatal and bad. Mm -hmm. So, all right, here we go. 57... It causes a delay or puts you at a disadvantage. At this point, mm -hmm. the giant worm lunges forward with his jaws. Mm -hmm. And at the same time as Pim is pulling, she had picked up her bow and arrows, yeah. uh, her special elvish arrows off of the ground. Oh. Um, and she goes to line up a shot. Mm -hmm. Its huge tail sweeps around with an unnatural speed yeah. uh, and kind of forces her to completely dive and duck out of the way. Uh -huh taking her out of uh, kind of eyeline uh -huh. and distracts her focus mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. And you see... Um, Do I leave my bow? 
Nope, nope, okay. you don't leave your bow. You see three of Pim's machinations because her focus was so mm -hmm. distracted by this mm -hmm. complete near miss from getting mm -hmm. decapitated by this tail yeah. that three of the machinations suddenly go, mm. No! And the, the humming slows. Oh, no! And uh, three of the five have powered down. Three of the five? Yeah. Um, I was assuming Pim. It requires some level of like half, yeah, I don't half think they powered down though. Half maybe, minded concentration. Maybe the zealots got a free shot on them. Okay. Yeah. 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 They they halt for a second. Yeah. Uh, and then they get. And the zealots like you know advance. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. in, in they're their able fight. to completely surround one. Yeah. Uh, and they start ripping at it. And yeah. one of them is out of commission. I think that's so that's we got fair. four left. Yeah, I think that's fair. All right. Shoot. She's scrambling. She got knocked in between like a furnace and another machine. Okay. And is kind of yard sailed right now. Great. Uh, so back to Dirk. What is Dirk going to try to do? I don't have initiative. So it'll None be, of us do. It'll be a clash again. Okay. Uh, at this point, Dirk wants to... Oh, what does he want to do? I don't have initiative. So let me see what I can do here. Um, okay. You can clash, face danger... Or turn the tide, but you can turn the tide if you want. But I think he wants to. Uh, he sees that uh, Tessa has other weapons, right? We've established. Yeah, yeah. Cool. She has so, uh, knives to throw. He's going to uh, clash as this thing continues to lunge its jaws at him. Uh -huh. He's just squaring off with it. He yeah. doesn't have initiative, unfortunately. Yeah. We're rolling good All today. Right. We're rolling good. So that's a strong hit. So that's. Great. Uh, Inflicting his harm, and mm -hmm. then he has initiative. So bang, bang, Great. bang. Two bang. out of ten. At this point, the worm lunges his jaws at him, uh -huh. and Dirk is able to quickly react. And using uh, Tessa's lodge spear that's in the th stuck in the side of its head, uh. he grabs onto it, is able to climb around, and is now on top of the head of oh. this worm. Oh! Ah. And Dirk has initiative now. Great. Uh, being on top of the head, uh -huh. he wants to take his spear and stab down. Do it. Uh, trying to hit one of these things in its eyes or very important. He doesn't know if it uses eyesight to right? see. <laughs> Who He's, knows? It's kind of like a Iron Man. This looks important. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> He's striking plus iron, close quarters. Let's go. Holding on to uh, Tessa's lodge spear for like stability. Got it. Got it. Oh, no. Okay. Not great. Not great. Do you want to cancel? So we are going to. That was a bad roll. So I'm going to burn my plus nine momentum. All right. To cancel the six and the eight. All right. To Good give choice. give myself a strong hit. Because then we mark two progress boxes. It's plus yeah. one harm on a strong hit. Plus one. Yeah, your harm plus one. And each harm is one. So it's one and a half. One and a half. Even though you use a deadly weapon? Because it's an extreme foe. So yeah. a deadly weapon is two harm. Mm -hmm. One harm is two ticks on an extreme foe. Right. So, so we've got tick, plus... tick. One harm is tick, 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 oh, tick. Oh, okay. Third harm is tick, tick. Okay, great. Thank you so for clarifying that. One, two, so three, we're at four, three and a half one, boxes. Two. Got it. Dirk, almost getting bucked off by this thing, is able to hold on to Tessa's uh... spear and stabs through the head. Man. He hears the iron tip of his spear go kling, 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 oh. as the whirring machinery turns it into a spoon and a garbage disposal, basically, <laughs> and starts to chop it up. I you believe retain because initiative. of that, he still has initiative. Yes. And he's going to do... All right, let's see what I can do with initiative now. Keep. I want to... Keep striking, bro. Keep striking? Yeah. Should I... Secure an advantage or aid my ally in something. Let's see if Dirk, Dirk's not thinking about any of that. No, He's we got this. We gotta kill this thing He's dead. He's just stabbing away. <laughs> All right. Oh damn! Let's go. Let's go! Another that's strong hit. That's another hits. strong hit. All so right, that one and is a half. on a strike. So that's one and a half again. So we're at five out of ten. That box gets filled up. Let's go, Dirk. That box gets filled, and then another one. Again, holding oh. on to Tessa's broken spear. Yes. <laughs> Just looking for any sparks are flying out of this thing. Yeah. And it's bucking its head around. Its tail mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
Wynn and Tessa have to quickly dodge out of the way as they launch arrow volleys at this thing. Then we suddenly see Cormac again mm -hmm. uh, reappear and say, uh, you know, he doesn't really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Pim shouts out as she's like trying to like collect herself this yeah. entire time. Yeah. Says, can't you control it? I would say, <clears throat> hearing that at this point, Dirk wants to give Pim the opportunity to try to get closer to Cormac and see if she can have some sort of influence over him or whatever. So I want to... Well, he can't control... I was going to role play out. He can't control okay. this beast. Cool. Right? Yeah. So I don't know mechanically that's not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. I think I, I was just role playing for flavor. Got it. Outside of the combat, just saying like, can't you control it? Mm -hmm. And he says, well, you know, like, uh, not really. Let's see if uh, I'm going to strike again. Yeah. Roll, let's just keep this hot streak going. You can't control it. Why did you? Why did you even? Why did you even do that? There we go. So there's a weak, weak hit. Weak hit. So uh, inflict so that, your harm and lose initiative. Yeah. So that is another one box. One box. Six out of ten. Eventually, Dirk is able to do so much damage, but mm -hmm. with a powerful roar, the worm sprints to the wall yeah. and recognizing Dirk is on top of its head, uh -huh. drives itself into it and Dirk is forced to leap off before he is, he is sandwiched into Oof. the side of the wall. He uh -huh. is sent tumbling off the head of this thing, uh -huh. but he in a three point stance gets up and goes, I think I did something. Yeah, you're, you're doing great. Um, and then at this point, Pim is going to try to strike okay. as well. She's regained her, her bow she and She doesn't arrows. have initiative, though. Right. Okay, so here's the clash. Sorry. Mm -hmm. so the lash. worm now uh, spinning around, banging itself against the close quarters of the factory, the laboratory. Uh -huh. um, a deafening clanging of metal as now uh, Pim's machinations are beginning to gain a leverage again over the zealots. Uh -huh. uh, zealots are being liquefied, turned into paste as they're oh. just like getting crunched into metal desks and uh, it's making zealot soup right now. Zealot um, soup. And um, it goes to attack Pim with another tail swipe. With another tail swipe? All right, so this tail swipe is <clears> coming. <throat> I think I need to go for my daggers and try to stab, mm -hmm. try to jump and stab down yeah, yeah, yeah. on the tail if it's coming that way. Lest so. ye go for a ride. Yeah, I'm going to do duelist mm -hmm. and I'm going to clash. Um, and I add plus two to this roll. So this will be Kay. plus four yep. total. Here we go. Oh, no, that's a miss. The tail That's a miss. swipes with again with such speed, and Pim thinking that she can time her jump mm -hmm. uh, at the last second slips on a leftover piece of scrap yeah. metal, yeah. and her legs are completely taken out from under her by the very tip of this tail, yeah. and she gets sent on her ass. Yeah, I think you just I endure harm. You endure I harm have to on endure this that one. harm at this point. So this is an extreme foe. So that's four. I'm at plus one health. So I would say that as as my legs were coming down under me, I, I when it hits, it hits my, my... It hits you in like the hip and knees. Yeah. Like a quarterback getting taken out low and you get flipped over. Yeah, I would say she lands on her head, you Ugh. know, at that point. She's Ugh. up in the air. She's airborne. She lands right on her head. Yep. Um, and just like is really just taken out. Mm -hmm. It's just seeing stars for a second. Yep. Um... And yeah, you suffered. Uh, you're down to plus one I'm health. I'm down right? to plus one health. Cool. Yeah. Um, do we want to do the endure harm move in this moment? Well, what what's the difference? Is there you the roll difference. on it when you face when you face physical damage, suffer minus minus health equal to your foe's rank. So you only do endure harm if your health is at zero. Got it. So I just took the harm. Cool. Um, at this point, the worm lets out this like mechanical low drone uh, steam shoots out and like the steam is mixed with like silvery clouds of pluming iron blight as oh. it like shakes its head around you mm -hmm. hear from behind go you heard what I said it was more of a prototype uh, uh, 
and it's angry. And uh, we, you don't hear the collaborator. You just hear a disembodied voice. And Dirk, Tessa, and Wynn, seeing Pin get dumped on her ass, mm-hmm. regroup, uh-huh. form a human wall in front of her uh-huh. as this thing lunges with his huge jaws again. Uh-huh. And they're going to clash and try to fend this thing off. Okay. Here we go. Stand tough, little one. Cocked. cocked. The whole roll again. Yeah. Cocked. Just as bad. Just as bad. At this point. It's a straight miss. Yeah. That's what Pay happens the price. on that one. Um, so I would say that its jaws are lunging forward. Comes at Dirk. Mm-hmm. Um, Dirk is realizing the... V- underestimated the velocity at which this worm is coming at it with its Mm -hmm. massive jaws Mm -hmm. opening wide and coming at it. Dirk takes his spear and attempts to lodge the worm's jaw open. Mm -hmm. Cool. uh, But is unsuccessful. Oh, crap. Uh, If anything, the worm, the spear kind of gets stuck, Mm -hmm. but the worm is able to... uh, like actually he's successful in stopping the jaw mm. but regardless the head is coming down mm. in a way that it still clips dirk Ugh. um and the force the of teeth. its like nose and teeth just like crunch him in yes. the head he gets a piercing wound in his clavicle yeah Ugh. yeah i think you and dirk harm too yeah i sure do <sighs> dirk is down to plus one. Oh man so is is he now holding onto his spear with like like Harry Potter style, uh, like with a tooth, like in him. I think the basilisk retreated. Uh, yeah. Basilisk, lol. Here we are. <laughs> Lord Freudian slip. The worm retreated. Yeah. And now is currently it has Dirk's Dirk's spear lodged in it. Yeah. But just doesn't know what to do with it, and it's yep. just like yep. retreating and freaking out. Uh, uh, crap. Okay, I still don't have initiative. I didn't do any damage to it. Um, Pim at this point has steadied herself mm-hmm. and she realizes she has to do something. She's leaning against Wynn who has pulled her up mm-hmm. uh, and has kind of steadied her. And Tessa is I at work okay? supporting uh, and, and currently tending to Dirk's gashing wound. <laughs> um, a gushing wound. So yeah, Pim is going to roll plus edge, plus four to clash. Okay. She cocks an arrow. You can also... Uh, we could try to end the fight, yeah. Well, you're able to... There's end the fight. There's also compel when your foe has initiative. I don't know if you want to consider that part of it, but you, you're able to of that. trigger command style talk to the collaborator if you feel like you have some sway. I have I thought of that, yeah. but this basilisk, it's it's clear. Worm. It's worm is way out of the control okay. of the collaborator, it seems. Cool. So... <sighs> Six out of ten. We've succeeded on sixes out of tens before. Mm-hmm. We're both at one. Yep. Tessa doesn't have a weapon. Wind's useless. <laughs> I've got an idea. You have an idea? Yep. You want to end the fight? No. Okay. Uh, Dirk is going to... Uh... Okay. What is this? How would this work? I'll tell you my idea, and then we'll see how to... Okay. Dirk, seeing the worm reeling its head around and running, also sees uh, that next to it is a large factory-like smelter Uh um, that is attached via scaffolding Mm -hmm. to the cavern wall. Mm -hmm. And he wants to try and... I got an idea. Give me a second. Hold its attention. Uh Uh-huh. He wants to run and break those holdings and tip this smelter and it's hot, hot, uh, furnace-like temperatures. Uh-huh. He wants to tip it on top of this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go yeah. for it. Is that a, that fe- it, does that feel like a turn the tide? Is that stealing initiative you... or am I just doing a face danger to get up there into position and do that? You. Cause I don't have initiative, so I can either turn the tide or I can face danger. I think I'm facing danger to do something risky. Yeah, you are. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. I'm not fast. It just depends on whether you want to steal initiative or not. Yep. Mm. And you can, either one can be role played the same way. Gotcha. So he's trying to get up there with stuff he's not good at. Stuff he's not good Good at. But I'm going to roll. This was expertise. This was observation. No. Speed to get up there fast. 
aggressive action because he's trying to push it over. Plus iron, baby. Okay. Yeah. That's a strong hit. Wow. You're Dirk. successful. Take plus one momentum. Dirk. Uh, sick. Dirk uh, begins to climb uh -huh. the scaffolding yeah. and sees what is holding this giant smelter yeah. upright. Yeah. He, with forceful action, uh -huh. uh, starts, um, he takes both of his feet, mm -hmm. puts it, presses it onto the side of the big smelter. Yeah. And at once runs, drop kicks, and like punches the holds that are oh. holding it in place and the thing starts to tip. And as it starts to tip, the molten, like, rock, it starts to spew out everywhere. Okay, you now have to roll and end the fight. Because I, I scored a strong hit, so I have initiative back? Oh, no. Yes, you have initiative back. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not telling you what to do, but it no, would No, I'm trying to understand how this works Like, the logical next step yeah. would be that you are using this to end the fight, I'm yep. assuming, right? <sighs> yeah. So, quickly, <clears throat> seeing, seeing Dirk's plan... <clears throat> Tessa, He's pushing it with his legs. Tessa <sighs> and Wynn drag Pim off to the side, attempting to um, clear clear away from where. Actually, no, they they steal away into the room mm -hmm. with that the door was open on. Yep, yep. Now, obviously, that door was blasted open along with some of the wall. Mm -hmm. um, but they they retreat in so mm -hmm. that hopefully they can be uh, Safe protected from whatever the hell happens. The collaborator is also there. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's also there too. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, uh, 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 shoot, so I'm going to go for the end the fight right now on six on ten. Yeah. Yes, you are. Low numbers. Weak hit. That's a weak hit. Okay, so you must also choose one. So we do end the fight, but we endure harm, we endure stress. A new danger or foe appears. We suffer collateral damage. Or you're marked for vengeance. Um, um, cool. Uh, Dirk, pushing his feet against the giant smelter with all of his might, it uh -huh. eventually tips. And the worm, in a rage, in a mm -hmm. berserk rage... Before it can lunge at him, the thing eventually tips all the way before gravity can start to take it. Molten rock and embers begin to spew out of this thing. Uh -huh. Molten iron, basically, uh -huh. pours out and begins to dump on top of the worm and begins to melt uh, the components. As the thing tips, it then crushes down on the worm in in a huge metallic just like thud <sighs> it has pinned this worm down and all of the molten metal has spewed out <sighs> just melting and liquefying and destroying this m metallic beast as it like as its movements and its humming continues to enrage and it tries to escape it eventually gets to a low hum and then stops moving dirk as he pushed his legs Grabbing the scaffolding, it broke. He fell no! from about, you know, 30 feet high. No! Uh, and flipped over and lands hard down on the factory floor. Um, and as a result, uh, endures harm from that fall. He's and is un unconscious at zero health, um, falling from a huge height. Suddenly we hear... No, my precious, my sweet, sweet, precious. And the, all of a sudden, uh, the collaborator yeah. comes out and sees uh, his creation in molten, uh, molten lava, all basically. All this work, all this time, all this time. We had it. We had it. Didn't you see? We had it. And it was done. And you brought life to all these machines. And you just didn't see. And like, Don't manic, go near it. Don't go tears near it. Tears are coming down uh, his face. Uh, and he grabs onto the machine in utter frustration and screams as just he, his hands just burn immediately from touching the hot metal. And Pim knows what's about to happen. She's realizing that this thing might blow. Mm -hmm. This machine, that while it's being unnaturally heated up, mm -hmm. is going to explode. Yeah. And she says, we've got to get out of here as quickly as we can. Uh, Oracle question. Yeah. Did 
the machines kill all the zealots. Let's see. Uh, I, I think it's a 50-50, yeah, right? Yeah, they were laying into them. Um, low no. Mm -hmm. They did. They killed all of the zealots. Uh, so now, I would say probably like two working automatons left. Yeah. One or two. Yeah. Um, are now surrounded in just a zealot pile. <laughs> They've got, they're dripping with guts. <gasps> But the, the automatons triumphed mm -hmm. over uh, these cultists. Yeah. Um, Dirk's unconscious. Yeah. Uh, Wynn takes... quickly looks to Pim and goes, we got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that thing's going to blow. We've got to go. So both Tessa and Wynn grab Dirk um, under his armpits and just drag him. It's mm -hmm. a really difficult uh, a task to do. Yep. Pim is able to hobble as much as she can, mm -hmm. um, but is really struggling trailing uh behind behind the 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 three of them yeah they go as fast as they can but they realize that they have to clear this factory mm -hmm. um in order to get into the shaft yeah um face danger i yeah. mean we have to we have to do this in time mm -hmm. before it explodes yeah this do, is a do, this is a face danger for sure okay so <clears throat> dark freaking unconscious with speed yeah. with speed mm -hmm. should i make the role as tessa I mean, uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Let's we can. They're make... technically our companions, so they don't get moves. Mm -hmm. How do we play this? You know, uh, roll it as Pim. As Pim, and All then right. we'll, we'll take that. Num we'll take that number for the group. Okay, so we're facing danger with speed. We're going as fast as we can, um, and that is going to be plus four mm -hmm. actually, to see if we can get out of here in time. Mm -hmm. We can. Okay, so uh, in... We succeed see. but face a troublesome cost. So I am going to decide that... Um, I know what it is. Mm. I know what's going to happen. Mm. Okay, so we're going as fast as we can. Pim looks over her shoulder as she's bringing up the rear mm -hmm. and sees that the collaborator has not moved. He is still clinging to his creation mm -hmm. as sparks are flying, as the entire thing is heating up. And it's actively burning his skin, but he has oh. just lost his mind. Mm -hmm. And the thing he has been forced to work on mm -hmm. all these years, all the time, mm -hmm. and his mind has been warped to love this work, mm -hmm. it's all being destroyed around him. Cormac, we've got to go. Do you realize what's going to happen? Do you realize what's going to happen? Do you realize what's going to happen? And he just keeps muttering that. You're out of your mind. It's going to explode. Don't you realize that once it's heated up, nothing, it's unpredictable. I've got... <sighs> you ruined everything! And he screams that uh, Pim's ruined everything, but he's not going to leave this thing. And Pim suffers minus one spirit because this is... This is the collaborator with which she was hold. I mean, she was trapped with. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it began that he, as she relayed to the party, it yeah. began that he, he wasn't, he wasn't about it either, but, but somehow he's just been brainwashed by the cult to believe in this work and to believe that it was good. Let me ask you, are you trying to compel him to come with us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As we're as we're retreating, we do succeed. I the role that we did was face danger. Do mm. we succeed in escaping before it explodes? Okay. The answer to that role is yes. Okay. So now it's just what we're just kind of folding in, interpreting what happened to Homeboy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I. Yeah. You know what? Well, we, there's no takesy backsies, is I there? I think. No, I think we rolled a success. Yeah. He's, he's continuing to hold on tightly to mm -hmm. the me mechanical worm. Mm -hmm. Pim sees that it's nothing doing. And as mm -hmm. she does, the molten iron fluid mm -hmm. begins to kind of surround the collaborator's feet. Oh! And he, and he doesn't move. Oh, my God. He doesn't move. He begins to scream in pain, but mm -hmm. he's not coming with. Last check we have to make, <clears throat> you know, are there more zealots on the in the shaft? Are there more zealots mm -hmm. coming for us? Mm -hmm. um, we successfully have made it out. Mm -hmm. It has not exploded yet, but yeah. are there zealots on the other side? Do we need to face danger? Let's or see. is it a yes, no on the oracle? I mean, I think uh, let's let's do a face danger roll. Okay. Because we're now we're out of the factory space. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't blown up yet. 
it's going to blow up any second. Yeah. Uh, we, so, so actually, mm-hmm. we could make another face danger to see it's going to explode. Does does the do the flames reach the shaft? Mm-hmm. Like, are we are we even really safe? Okay. Because all that I rolled on was, do we get out of the factory? Okay. Now we have to make our way out of okay. the shaft. Um, so. So (laughs) we open the door. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tessa wrenches open the door and uh, dragging Dirk's lifeless body. Once again, Dirk is a lifeless body. Well, what are you going to do? He's a hero. What are you going to do? And Pim trailing behind. They quickly uh, shut the door as fast as they can. And as they are running as fast as they can back up the shaft, Mm -hmm. we hear an explosion. Yeah. It is it immediately deafens all four of them. Mm-hmm. Um, temporarily, they hear a ringing yeah. in their ears. Yeah, they're knocked to the ground from just the shock wave. They're of knocked the blast. to the ground. Whatever energy source was inside of that mechanical worm yeah. has been superheated to the point that it just mm-hmm. collapsed in on itself, mm-hmm. imploded, and then. And there's a lot of Starforge Black Iron down there. Yeah. I think that all of it just sort of exploded mm-hmm. on its. It just mm-hmm. was a compound effect of yeah. a massive explosion. Yeah, we have to face danger. Okay. Um, we're still rolling with speed. Oh boy. Oops. All right, let's go. As fast as we can, let's haul ass. Strong hit. Okay. Wow, strong hit. We're successful. I Mm -hmm. take plus one momentum. Mm -hmm. Um, At this point, uh, basically, (sighs) Tessa is fire woman's carrying uh, <laughs> Dirk. She has him around her back. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, Wynn and Pim, everybody is just sprinting in a dead Let's say P- uh, Wynn is sprint. helping Pim as well because she mm. her legs are just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Wynn has got Pim like around the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Tessa's got Dirk just across her back. Yep. They are running full on as now the scaffolding around them is starting to come down. The shockwave from this explosion mm-hmm. uh, is starting to shake the order uh-huh. and like the more fine built up parts have just been absolutely just shook. Yeah. Um, we got to get out of here safely. Mm-hmm. So we determined mm-hmm. that the shaft itself, mm-hmm. you couldn't quite get up it. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. But we determined that when and Tessa were able to get to that holding room from some other way. Yes, so exactly. So in climbing out, mm-hmm. they get through the rectory, the living quarters of the other zealots. Mm-hmm. They continue to climb, climb, climb. At mm-hmm. this point, they're starting to get the attention of other cultists that are around them in the more rectory part of this hideout. Yeah, I mean, we're not cloaked anymore, and mm-hmm. we are just, like, running as fast as we can. Yeah. <sighs> Face danger again. Face danger again. Yep. Like, do they stop us? Do they, are they just dumbfounded by our presence? This could be, I can roll this on aggressive action if we're trying to dispatch some guys, or we can just keep going, just run past them. Yeah, I think, you I think roll because we're carrying people, mm-hmm. we can't run fast enough to just outrun these guys. No. My dead, almost dead ass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Weak hit? Yep. Okay, so we succeed but face a troublesome cost. I would say, I would say that, I mean, it's, it, it's minus, minus something. So mm-hmm. I think, um, ah, I know what to do. So mm-hmm. Pim, uh, real, uh, all of a sudden we're, we're going as fast as we can to the exit mm-hmm. and we are stopped by a bunch of zealots. Mm-hmm. They are blocking our way and they're demanding to know, yep. who are you and why have you come here? Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, and, and they scream, intruders, intruders. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pim makes quick use of a bomb that she had handy. Yep. Um, it is a smoke bomb. Oh and she lights it. Mm-hmm. And she says, cover your eyes now mm-hmm. to the four of us. Uh, Dirk, you know, is fine. He's just unconscious, mm-hmm. so he's good. But the four of them cover their eyes uh, and Pim lets it out. Um, it is an irritant. It's an eye irritant. Mm-hmm. So uh, immediately the zealots uh, cower in the, in the back and they're just clawing at their eyes. Yeah. Um, but because the four of them covered their eyes in time, mm-hmm. they were able to make their way out the door. Okay. Uh, so now we're running as fast as we can mm-hmm. to the exit. Mm-hmm. The exit yeah. of the order. Mm-hmm. I think we have to face danger at least one more time. Yeah. Right? To, yeah. to even get out of here. Yeah, so this is pure speed at this point. I think we have to make it interesting. I think. Okay. I f- no, 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 no. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Well, at this point, uh, Let's the, keep rolling. The, the, the group of zealots with their eyes just kind of uh, just like 
irritated from the yeah. eye <laughs> irritant, um, begin to reel back. Uh, they're sprinting forward. Are we at the entrance yet? Or yeah, we we're at the. We're like close to the entrance. We're at the. Remember the long, long hallway. Say we're at the start of the hallway, right. and we have to run to the exit. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, s- more continue to to pour out, Oof. and we have to. I think fight them off at this point. I think so. The ones that got like, because we're too slow. Yeah. We're carrying an unconscious guy. I yeah. think the three of you need to fight. Yeah, I think so. What was that roll for? That's a weak, that's a face danger plus iron because we're fighting our way out. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, so that, great. that was a weak hit on that. Okay, great. So <clears throat> we succeed in fighting our way to the exit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would say that. We, I mean, it's minus one of something. Yeah. In in the melee, uh, when just sort of helping Pim up, they immediately get jumped on by uh, a couple of zealots uh, mm-hmm. because whose eyes at this point are just starting to bleed. Yeah. Um, Tessa is running with Dirk on her back, mm-hmm. uh, headed toward the exit. Mm-hmm. Um uh, and Wynn and Pim get uh, kind of grappled by a couple of zealots. Uh-huh. Uh, Wynn pulls out his short sword, uh-huh. cuts the hand off of one of the zealots, oh. stabs through the torso mm-hmm. of the other, gives him a kick. He yeah. then look tor- looks towards Pim. Mm-hmm. At this point, a red-coated zealot uh-huh. walks out uh, and with a torch uh, and a bloody hand sends a gout of flame directly at everyone. Uh, Wynn, uh, thinking quickly and seeing the numbers of dudes that are just here, yeah. um, looks at Pim, mm-hmm. uh, looks at her satchels and stuff, uh-huh. and grabs one of the explosive implements that uh-huh. are on her belt, uh-huh. and then kicks Pim out the door. Oh. And he says, just go. I got this. What? Uh, and boots Pim out of the way. And with one of Pim's explosive implements in hand, Wynn charges back toward the red-robed cultist shooting gouts of flame and the other zealots. Oh, no! At this point, we shift to outside of the entranceway mm-hmm. as an unconscious Dirk being carried by Tessa and mm-hmm. Pim have tumbled out, run, Tessa spins around and goes, where the hell is he? I don't know. And as she says no, you hear an explosion. <gasps> and the rock entranceway has just crumbled down. Uh, and that's all you hear anymore from the entranceway. <clears throat> Are we alone? Yeah. What's the likelihood? Uh, highly. <laughs> highly likely that we're alone. 90. 90 and up and we find somebody. No, we're alone. Yeah. So we just, do we go back or? We, uh, Dirk's unconscious. <laughs> we can't go back. We can't go back. Okay. Do we see horses? Um, 50-50? They're. Because there could have been other carriages coming along the way. Like, there probably could be another shipment headed for the yeah. base yeah. and then back. Or they're stabled outside. Mm-hmm. Are they stabled outside? Oracle, uh, are they stabled outside? Hi. I rolled uh, 76. Yes, they are. Great. The horses are stabled outside. Mm-hmm. We run as fast as we can mm-hmm. to the horses. Load Dirk's ass onto the back of one of them. Uh huh. Tether that horse to Tessa's horse, um, mm-hmm. and Pim gets on the back of Tessa's horse as well. Mm-hmm. And they ride as fast as they can. Yeah. To safety. Mm-hmm. When the master leader mm. of the paupers, having seemingly sacrificed himself Mm. so that the rest could escape Mm. unharmed. Unharmed. We open back Mostly. I mean, you're jacked up. Yeah. (laughs) We wake up, I guess. We, we, I guess, uh, refocus the camera. Mm -hmm. Dirk opens his eyes. 
and he sees greenery. He sees the sun filtering through leaves, making shadows on his face. Mm. He smells fresh air. He hears birds chirping. And it takes a while for his eyes to adjust until the sun is obscured by a figure who says, Good morning, sweetie. <sighs> Who's thirsty? Who's thirsting for Dirk? <laughs> Need water? Dunk your head in the bucket. Okay, sweetie, I'll get you some water. Uh, Mom? And he opens his eyes <sighs> and he sees Tava, his mother, mm. giving him, as requested, a bucket of water. He's in the Boarwood equivalent of traction. He's got splints everywhere. <sighs> his arm, full splint, um, or full sling, right leg in a splint, just completely hold up. We then... Uh, on a neighboring bed, hmm. Pim starts to waken. Hmm. Uh, her legs are also in the Borwoodian equivalent of casts, plaster mm. casts. Yep. Both of them. Mm -hmm. From thigh to ankle. Yeah. As she has shattered both of her legs. Oof. But she stirs. She wakes and she writes herself and sees dirt. Then, <sighs> bursting in through the canopy door is Tessa, who says, Oh my god, they're awake! They're awake! They're awake! Oh my god, thank god! Oh. And uh, Dirk's dad, uh, the elder mystic of Borwood, Mortar. Mortar, comes in the door and says, uh, I knew you'd pull through, my boy. Oh my god, I was so worried about you! And Tessa kisses both of Dirk's cheeks. Yeah. Um... And she runs over to Pim and gives Pim a double kiss on the cheek. And Pim turns a shade of scarlet, uh, <laughs> redder than her her own hair, in fact. Um, I can't believe you're okay. Thank God Mom was able to wake you up. What have... How'd we get... Dirk is just kind of like... How'd we get out? Where, are we being chased? Who's ch What's happening? We're not being chased, okay? You're okay. both safe. We're home. We're home right now. Ow! <laughs> stay, stay still, okay? Ugh. We rode. M Mom's fixing some elderberry tea, so um, you'll you'll be calmer in a second. Elderberry smooth move? No, just regular elderberry. Okay. I rode us. I rode us as far as I could. Mm. It took a couple of days, and I almost lost you. I almost lost you both, really, because Pim went unconscious from internal bleeding, and you were knocked out because of the fight, but we rode and rode until I met up, or I came across a caravan, and there were a bunch of, like, really cool dudes who were inside it, and they were, I don't know, they had, like, musical instruments, but, like, they recognized you. Deep Think? Yeah, I guess that was the name of their band. The boy, they're alive. Yeah, yeah. You found them and they're alive? Yeah, they were, like, on the road. And they recognized you both. And they just offered free of charge to just, like, take you back to Borwood. Did they ask, uh, did they say how gigging went? Did they, did they, did they need me out on the road with them? Did they ask about if I could, if they needed a singer? And, and Tava just, like, puts uh, her, an arm. Uh, uh, oh. Just, <laughs> just calming Dirk. Just puts it right here on his heart, yeah. on his chest, mm -hmm. and serves him some elderberry tea and says, "Relax, darling. Mm. Relax." Uh, Petunia, from Petunia, the, you remember that from the tea house? Wow. Then hands Pim her elderberry tea, 
uh, with a little bit of a wink, <laughs> gives it to her and walks, puts a hand on Tava's shoulder and walks back to her tea house. Um, where's, uh, there were four of us. Where's Wynn? What happened? And Pim shares a grave glance with Tessa and says, you don't remember. I don't remember anything after climbing. I was climbing. That's all I remember. Climbing some scaffolding. We, uh, there was a red hooded figure who was blocking our way. And he was about to attack us when Wynne took one of my pieces of dynamite and sacrificed himself so he could get away. And there's a moment of silence that passes before Tessa says, I think we all would have died if he didn't do that. And uh, Dirk, leaning forward uh, with tears in his eyes, looks at his sister and says, thank you. And he, they kind of touch heads. Um, and the Pim and Dirk are left to rest and mend mm -hmm. and recover. And after a span of a month, the community of Borwood joins in a council meeting. Mm -hmm. Mortar, a crutches baron Dirk, mm -hmm. Tava, and, um... Pim? Uh, Pim's Pim. there, too. Pim is there. Tessa's there. Dran? Uh, Dran's there. Little Benji? Little Benji's not there because he is distracting. <laughs> he would cry way too much. Um, and I'm going to... Maybe it's a gathering of the whole community. The whole community gathers together. Yeah, I think so. And I'd like to roll on fulfilling the Iron Blight vow. Um, wow, I've just got chills. Um, Ooh. <clears throat> as yeah, fulfill your vow. Well, all right, we, we have not been marking progress. I think we're at least six out of ten on that. We I mean, are, uh, I marked myself, I'm up to eight. Oh, you're eight. Oh, great. Yeah, Thank you considering, so much. Yeah, considering, you know, finding who's responsible, the yeah. collaborator, killing his huge beast, collapsing yeah. down the hideout, yeah. down upon everyone, the explosion. We're eight out of ten. Okay. Um, when you achieve what you believe to be the fulfillment of your vow, roll the challenge dice and compare to your progress. Cocked. Can you like hit the tray at one point? <laughs> Every single one of yours has been outside of the tray. Just be ginger. That's better. It's also the same exact result as before. That it's is a same. weak hit. Yeah, I rolled a weak hit and a weak hit. Okay. What does it say there? On a weak hit, there is more to be done or you realize the truth of your quest. Envision what you discover, then mark experience. You may swear an iron vow to set things right if you do add plus one. So it's a hit. Mm -hmm. I want to say that it is a hit. Yeah, right? I have a, I have a. But it's a weak hit. Yeah. Go right ahead. Um, unless you add something. Mm -mm. I have something, but please, please go take no, it. No, you go. No, take it. You go. Why? Yeah, because I want you had something. I want you to go. But you have something. So I'm not as confident in my thing. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing the logical thing. Do the logical thing. All right, great. So the entire community is gathered in a circle. Mm -hmm. um, it is around the massive kind of, uh, you know, main square of Borwood. Mm -hmm. um, we see, you know, the merchants. We see uh, the rangers yeah. um, who are, you know, proudly standing tall with their spears. We see the mystics. Yeah. Um, we also see the head council. Mm -hmm. um, every single member, all adult members of Borwood are gathered here mm -hmm. um, from a special meeting uh, called by the head elder. And he says, I have fortuitous news to share with you all. 
and that is due to some intervention that I'm sure different groups gathered here will want to take credit for. Regardless, I'm happy to announce that it appears that the blight has stopped spreading. And there's like rejoicing amongst yeah. the folks uh, all around. Dirk gives a knowing like uh, arm punch to Pim when they said some parties here. Would and on like the to arm punch, he like nearly knocks her off of, you know, <laughs> out of her cast, her like walking cast that she has. <clears throat> <laughs> um, uh, however, however, and he wraps his his great staff on the 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 hardwood. Um, however. That which we have lost will not return. We have lost a great many plants and much veg vegetation. We have lost many animals and we have lost some friends as mm. well. And he swallows as a lump has risen in his throat and he says, we must build back from here, but we cannot regain what has been lost. Mm. And a a hush kind of falls over the community mm -hmm. that though the blight has been stopped, the decay that it has left in its wake um, can't be reversed. Mm. And so that, you know, after the meeting, everyone disperses and, you know, some decide to have feasts to celebrate. Um, it's a bittersweet kind of day because mm -hmm. though the main threat is over, they, realize there's much work to do as you can clearly see the the blight has has done devas devastating damage yeah on the there are pockets of the deep wilds now that are mm -hmm. just kind of encased in time they mm. have this gray iron flaked uh corruption to them mm -hmm. and they almost look frozen in space mm -hmm. um and those are big pockets of it mm -hmm. uh that are that just will be there mm-hmm for and who knows how long. Yeah. And Dirk and Pim find themselves, you know, relaxing underneath a great tree with, mm -hmm. a, with a great trunk that is perfectly <laughs> kind of creating a seat for the two of them mm -hmm. as they are still on the mend here. It's going to yeah. take half a year for them to really get back on their feet. I, uh, thank you for sending us and just agreeing to help us because clearly this would have swallowed us up and our home would have been destroyed if you hadn't intervened and I hadn't run into you that weird day in Trout Nook. <laughs> so I uh, I have to stay here and help rebuild and just recover and see to my home. And obviously, you can stay as long as you like. But where are you headed? And Pim breathes in and out. And she looks at the flawless sky and the sun. A little bit lower in the sky now and says I don't think the cult is destroyed sure I think that they're going to build back perhaps but for now for now they're not a concern hmm. and if you don't mind I'd like to stay here with you for a while at least Absolutely. Just... No more... Messing around with that iron stuff. and it, It's... I don't know. It's too... The risk is too great. If you stay here, that's my condition. So that stuff's gotta that stuff's gotta go 
Well, and she opens her, she shows her pockets, and she says, I have no more of it anyway. Okay. Little Steg can stay, though. He's cool. Steg pops in, (laughs) winks, and then gets back into the pocket. And they spend the rest of the day on the trunk, sipping iced elderberry tea. Mm. Just wasting away a perfectly beautiful spring afternoon. And that (laughs) is the end of our campaign. That is the end of this story of Pim and Dirk. Wow. Maybe not forever. No. For now. Yeah. Leaves room for some interpretation. Yep. Uh, That was a blast. Thank you all so much for spending time with us. Yeah. Spending a while with us. I hope you had fun around the table with us. We had a blast uh, playing this. A total blast fully improvising this entire are you, i'm exhausted yep improvising a game is really <laughs> really hard playing dmless is so so but, fun so rewarding so difficult yeah but i mean so zany i loved uh jumping in and just weaving the story together yeah. if you guys also want to learn more about iron sworn and play it yeah um check out iron yeah. um it's an independent game and we love it so much so please mm. do check it out um, there's also an expansion called Starforged, which is set in the sci-fi yeah. universe. How exciting. So if mm-hmm. you want to zoom around on the spaceship instead of riding around on horses, check out Starforged. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.